The long live uh, Jaden pin, so this was the kid that was hit on 16th Street. So his mom gave this one to me. That's from a story we brought you in September when Boise City Council member Jimmy Halliburton had seen enough. He spearheaded a traffic fatality review task force to make Boise streets safer for bikers and pedestrians. But you can count skateboarders too, because the boy Halliburton was representing with that pin, his name was Jaden, Jaden Zurakowski. He was a skateboarder that went to Boise High School and he was hit by a car and was killed while riding his skateboard on the corner of 16th and Washington. Family and friends, they formed a makeshift memorial at the intersection. But now, Andrew Bartline shows us how one local Boise artist is cementing the boy's legacy on the block, too. A picture's been said to be worth a thousand words. But on the corner of 16th and Washington, this mural's value is defined by what fits on a traffic light. Jaden Zarowski. Priceless. Mm -hmm. It's Hawk Salen's brush strokes that now hold a high schooler's legacy. The flowers representing his growth blossomed and picked far too soon. Jaden was on his way to his Boise High orientation. He was skateboarding, and while each passage on the post holds its place in the collective thousand, this story can be explained with just three. A super heavy thing for anybody to encounter that situation. Hawk admits they didn't know each other personally. Somebody had come up with the idea of maybe doing a memorial mural for him in this area. And maybe it was how it happened. I've been skateboarding for a long time. Or where Jaden was going. I also went to Boise High. Or even their names. His nickname was Bird. Most people know me as Hawk. But he just knew he had to do it. There's just a lot of things that connected us and were parallels, so it seemed right. Because through Hawk's career, Jaden isn't the only flower in his bouquet. We've done memorials for him and others, you know, over the years. So it's obviously sad and tragic, but it's one way to connect with the community and maybe do some healing at the same time. Healing with whatever fits on the corner, whatever inks the post. Not necessarily in place of, but in tandem with that. So, you know, that's a spot where people have made their own marks, messages, left items. So. This is uh, just, you know, adding on to that. Now twice planted on the same soil picked, Jaden still lives. And for those still searching for the right words, Hawk hopes that feeling's found somewhere in the new 1000. He was a bright, complex person that was, you know, a, a, could have been any of us and so loved by the people that was around him. Hawk says he worked closely with Jane's family to figure out exactly how they wanted to visually represent him with this mural. You can see those pieces of flowers, how he says that represented Jane's growth. Again, he was just a high schooler. He was young. There's also other things there that depict music that he liked. Skateboard was also part of that. And of course, his childhood dog, there's kind of a pug over his shoulder as well. And Joe, there is also um, a GoFundMe going on right now for yeah. the family in terms of they're looking at making that, I guess, makeshift memorial, for lack of a better term, something more permanent, something more, um, not just words on like the post, the public yeah. property. So it is still there right now. Yes, no, all that was shot today. I mean, it's all still there. They're right next to each other on the corner, but they're looking to raise funds to make something a little bit more permanent. Yeah. So. When you talk to Hawk, I mean, why, why does he do this? Well, I mean, he's an artist, he loves art, but he said that he had a childhood friend as well that passed away when he was young, and that was kind of the first time he did a memorial. And then with this situation, it was kind of came across him on social media. Again, he didn't know the kid personally, but he learned more about Jaden. It was like, I'm a skateboarder too. My name's Hawk, his nickname was Bird. That's kind of a unique coincidence. But they actually had a lot of many things in common that it huh. just felt right, and he said, why not do it? And so it's, it's kind of a sad situation of a memorial for someone who passed away, but he's happy that he was able to do it right. Yeah, well, that's definitely one I want to go check out. Andrew, thank you for reporting here on the 208.